the thing is, I don't really feel bad saying that because he did kind of cheat on me with Megan Fox. So it's kind of like, because uh. if you look at the timeline of us dating, we were together in Puerto Rico. He, he said, come to Puerto Rico with me. And I said, there, there she is. Our guest is here, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that for my intro. Welcome back to Impulsive, number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. I'm wearing... Uh, I'm, I'm going to start over. <laughs> I, was, I was here with you. I went... I went I was, uh, you know what? No, not. I'm wearing yellow today. I've been experimenting with different colors. You know, I, yellow looks good on you. I'm not going to lie. On me. Yeah. But what about the backdrop? I think it makes you pop. I pop. think I think I might wear uh, yellow shorts for the Mayweather fight. Yellow shorts, white shoes, white gloves. I think it's cool. Okay. You're going to look like Pac-Man or something? I, pretty much. Uh -huh. Pac-Man. They told me uh, what the f gloves are easier. What, the what is happening? What? The what? Why oh. did you put that as the background of my computer? I didn't put the background of anything. How, how, why are you blaming me that it. Michael B. Jordan's tits are on your Left it open on right in front of you. Hey, hey, champ! I'd 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 leave that if I were you. Hey, you better leave that. That's a good, that's a good looking guy. It honestly, it wasn't me. How do you know that I put Michael B. Jordan on your background? Let me ask you a question, George. Yeah. Do you think anyone else in this entire house would do something like this? Kevin would do that. No, no. George is that friend who will move something and never tell you to the day that you die. He'll move it and you'll be like, well, for the, your whole life, where did I put that ketchup that one time? <laughs> He'll move my seat in my car all the way forward or all the way back <laughs> and never tell me. And and he'll see me adjusting it and decide to just let me <laughs> suffer for the rest of my life. It's just so much funner seeing people like, like move things. And in your heart, you know, you did that. But in their heart, they'll never know. No, 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 no. I had a kid like this in high school. His name was Connor. I'll never forget. He'd always move my backpack. And he thought it was so funny. It's so funny. But Connor, where's my fucking backpack? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, I have things to do. I got to get to class. I need the things in my backpack, you motherfucker. Like, stop. <laughs> Guess what? So sad. Uh, you know, Greg Paul. I had to tell him today that I don't want to go kill a moose with him. Uh, yeah. That was a weird switching of topics. Of course you don't. Of course I don't. Well, Why would you the, well, I'm from Ohio. I grew up hunting, right? Uh, then I, when I was about 13, I was like, uh, I, don't, I don't feel like uh, going hunting anymore. Something like, I don't know. These deers are just living their lives peacefully. It doesn't really give me like the joy that maybe I, I, I was taught that it would and sort of believed for a second. But as I grew up and came into my own, I was like, eh, I don't know if it's for me. Um, like recreational hunting for specific animals and, and a moose is one of them. Like he wanted to go on this very extravagant moose hunt. Paul brothers, me, Jake, Greg, Greg. And uh, I had to tell him, I was like, dad, I, he was setting it up. I, I just don't want to, I don't want to kill a moose with you, dad. Did he say, uh, you know, you know how a lot of people use that excuse? Like everything I eat, I do, I kill it so I can eat it. Well, he if does I that. Kill it, I, no, he does. Let me ask you guys a question. What if a carnivore, uh, sorry, what if a uh, cannibal used that excuse? Like, well, I, you, sir, you killed that man. Well, I, I sure intend on eating him. Like, does that, does that excuse fly? I'm sorry. I know Dave's laughing. Not for cannibals. But, but wouldn't not it though? For, but it might. But okay. it might though. Like we're, In cannibal culture? Yeah. You have to be in cannibal culture. Yeah. And maybe that's a little flawed logic. But I mean, like if you just, if everything in life just fall, dials back to like, well, if I kill it, I'll eat it. And that makes it okay. Like, where's the line drawn? <laughs> I think with humans. Humans? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> no problem. No, no, absolutely no fucking Bro, there's problem. something about a moose. Have you seen a moose? Beautiful. Majestic. Nine to ten feet tall. Elegant. Like these archaic creatures might as well be a dinosaur. Giant antlers, moose antlers, and it's so majestic and beautiful. Mind you, they're not harming anything, right? Like I, I picture myself like looking down the barrel of a gun to actually take the life of a creature that I haven't done in so long. And not just a creature, like moose didn't do anything wrong to me. And in my adult life, I, I couldn't. And I know some people are watching like, yeah, no shit, dummy. But I I'm telling you, like when you're raised a certain way and you grow up being taught to do a certain thing and then you have to tell your parents like, yo, I'm not really into that anymore. It hurt me. And dad, I'm sorry. I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill a moose with you. 
but we should do, Jay came up with this idea. We should do a, a an outdoor excursion, like three day hunting, or, sorry, no, fishing, <laughs> fishing, off-roading, camping type situation. Cool, it, cool, with the, cool with the fish though? Poor little, just I'll, I'll, swim? I'll, I'll oh, hook you're a, a pescatarian. Oh, you're, I'll hook you're a an Episcopalian, fish. aren't you? That's right. You're a wow. Pescatarian. Yeah, that's right. Guys, let's bring on our guest. She got, she got, uh, she got great. She's great. She needs no introduction. She's one of the biggest stars on the internet, now taking over the business world with her apparel collections and more, all while dealing with the realities of Hollywood relationships. Dylan, your intros suck. What? Our producer's intros suck. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Summer Rae. Hey, 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 what are How are you? There's reality. There's people. Yeah. 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 Take a seat. <laughs> Dude, dude, dude! Oh, she I smells know. so great. Like you I, I do hate that. Smell so I hate good. that. I oh, like, y'all get y'all got hugs. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. No, Summer, get the fuck. No, stop. Because I like to play onto the the audience sympathy. They're like, oh my. No, you Mike smell fantastic, hug. and now I just feel wow. like I have to. Like now I could. Yeah, yeah. Feel good about myself. Match your energy. Because I'm Middle Eastern, I have to smell comment. better than you. That's you, our rule of thumb. If you feel uncomfortable being that close to George. <laughs> Feel free to move your microphone to the left. I don't. I don't. It's fine. You could. You could. Oh, look! She got oh, closer. God. Oh, that's gonna. That's gonna be a problem. Like, <laughs> does it look weird? Like I'm too close to him. No. Yes. Okay. Never seen our guests always are literally on top of George. Let me help you. I've never seen the headphones get stuck in someone's hair before. Like guys, there's, my there's, a lot, there's a lot going on out there with her. Yeah. She got that beach look. My hair's really crazy and it's still wet, so it looks. I thought you usually when I come, you guys like chill for a little bit. I thought my hair was gonna be able to dry a little bit. You guys put me right on. Wanna well, know why? Like a real thing nowadays. Wanna well, know why? Why? Shooting twelve episodes this week. Nah, uh, none of that. None of that. that You're like, in the shot. George. None of that shit. You're in the shot. What's good? Let's stay what focused, do do? George. Take you out of the dude. fuck. Let's stay focused. No, but he's he none might be. That shit. Was he taking you out of the shot? Yeah. He's in the shot. Now, see, now there's a lot of separation. Does my, this is a bad. Does my hair well, it just seems like all of it seems to be on one side of your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's. Well, I, know that I don't know if that's by design or what, but there you go. You just oh, give a little, yeah. Spread the love. You came over the other day. You almost won a Tesla. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yeah, David don't Dobrik, his, his dispo wheel. You were one. You were one tick away from winning a Tesla. I warmed it up because they said no one won until. I okay go closer. No one won until like that was the closest anyone got, and then after that, <laughs> two people won them. I was like, I warmed it up for you. Guys. <laughs> I know it. You were the wheel foreplay for the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hadn't so seen I you in, in I hadn't seen you in so long. Potentially like since before quarantine. Yeah. When is the last time I saw you? I don't even know. It, I've been seeing this little mother. For a while. And, and is that hard? Yeah, it's actually like emotionally draining. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I live with him. Two doors down. <laughs> I had it's to text him last night, 1.30 a.m. I I do. I have two warnings, not three. They say three, three strikes are out. No, fuck that too. So one, whenever people are being too loud, I'm in training camp, you know, and I want them to be quiet. The shh emoji. I send it twice. Shh. Next one, That's I'm nice. snapping. The next one was, Mike, shut your fucking mouth. Because the guy's just, fast. he's always on. He's always on. So oh, he's like always. 145. I blame David. I said he was watching Gone Girl. I just made up a, a whole story and it wasn't true. I'm sorry, <laughs> oh David. But you're moving in with him now. So the burden is now on to you. What? Yeah, I don't know about That's going to be hard. Him and Ricky both, just like the combination of those two, it's just like, that's a lot. <laughs> one a more lot. time. One more time. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. No, it's bad. Is, that's fine. You have a new house? Or, uh, or are you renting right now? Right now, I lived in a house in Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. and then it was just crazy, and I lived in that five-bedroom house mm -hmm. all by myself. So I was like, I need to just not do this. And like, yeah. I pay a lot in rent and stuff, so I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm living in a like apartment right now, and then gonna live with them so <laughs> it'll be fun you know I'm like a little hermit and I go into my like house and I hermit away and I don't make any contact with any humans so it kind of will get me like out there and like kind of collabing and like doing stuff again because I will stay like a little hermit crab in my house forever he yells at me for doing the same thing <laughs> I don't want to leave this it. house ever but so that's good. but that's the intent, right? The intent is to get you back out, back on the other platforms because you're still cleaning up on IG. I, your TikTok is popping. I sometimes just do that for fun. For fun, I know, but it's it's doing well. But the the pl the plan and the hope, and when you guys see this episode, it's probably already started. But uh, the hope is that you can come back and take over YouTube again and start putting out consistent content and making videos. I don't know about take over, but well, yeah, I'll do a little, a little this and a little that. A little yeah. salt bay. I can't ever do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> But yeah, I think it would be good to like socialize because ex especially after like 
this whole COVID stuff, I like don't know how to like, like the valet person will come get my keys for me. And I'm like, like I it's don't not, know. I it's have not to just like, you. Same, I can't same. even function. It's not just you. How, how to deal with people. <gasps> Humans, yeah, human I don't, interaction. and I'm already kind of like, I'm like not life of the party, but if I know my surroundings, I can be, but like, I don't walk into the party and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> unless I'm a little drunk, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but I have to like, I have to like be comfortable. So I'm like already kind of shy. So it's like, I'm like really so socially awkward now. Like, I don't know what happened. We, I've talked about this 100%. before. People are going to forget how to interact with people. I'm feeling it. And yeah. I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm I, outgoing. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's have fun. Let's talk. Imagine kids. Because they're not, they like are live, growing up on their phones. Yeah. They're not even going to school anymore. Yeah. They're not going to know how to socialize. Like me, like if someone calls me, unless I'm really close with you, I'm like, ah, I don't want to answer the phone. I'm like, text me. You know, imagine kids. If you call them, they'd probably freak out. Well, especially the newest uh, kids that are coming out like just post pandemic. Cause in all honesty, like there's a lot of vaccines coming out. There's a lot of stuff happening, but I don't think that we're going to go back to a place of normalcy by any means for a long time. So imagine like growing up, you're like five, six years old. You're just starting to experience the world. And it's, and it looks the way it looks currently. And this becomes the normal for kids to be isolated on their phones mm -hmm. at one second and then to go out, but not to be able to get very close to like, like when the same thing with the valet guy for me, he comes up to give me my keys. And I'm like, dog, mm. Like, why are you coming to towards me? <laughs> but it's not even because I'm scared, uh, like scared. Blah. One more. I'm nice. not, <laughs> <laughs> Remix. It's not even. Blah, blah, blah. It's like the it's episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Can I? That's <laughs> always what I do in videos. When I fuck up, I just keep it in. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, um, but it's not because I'm scared of COVID. Like, that's not really why. It's just like I'm scared of the interaction. Like, I have to like physically like think to myself in the car. Like, okay, I'm gonna get out of my car. I'm gonna turn it off. No, I'm not gonna turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna. Get I don't know. That's why I don't go to Boa. I can't go there. <laughs> By the way, you're, the, la pressure. you're the last influencer to not go to Boa. Oh, hold on a second. I, I had dinner I mean, with I her did, at Boa last week. But I like to week. go. I like to go when like no one's there. I don't know. It's just too much. It's just a lot of stuff happening there, and I just like I don't like it. Yeah, there was when we went. I get anxiety. I, I think I've gotten. Ex I never had anxiety before COVID. I get anxiety now. Like my heart starts racing. I'm like people. I'm like I don't know. <laughs> because of quarantine. <sighs> yeah, I think that's because of that. You've developed anxiety. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I always had it. Just like. Coming it's, out of it's hiding crept now. its way out. No, but yeah. they're saying that the pandemic is responsible for a massive increase in mental health. Has problems. to, has to, Ma and not not only a, a an increase in new sufferers, but also the lack of the ability to uh, to handle and maintain the old sufferers because you're not able to go see your therapist anymore. It's harder to get an appointment with your doctor because you got to jump through hoops. So a lot of people have gone off their meds. They're not seeing the people they need to talk to. They're not doing all the things that keep people sane. Mm -hmm. And so supposedly there's been a couple of people that have talked about a couple of experts, but supposedly there's going to be a, a pretty massive spike in, uh, in mental health, uh, Ill, men, in mental illness as a result of the pandemic. And, and addiction goes along with it as well because people have, they, they have to keep beds at rehab centers, uh, further apart less people can go to rehab so mm -hmm. the rehabs are all booked so drug uh addiction sufferers can't go it's crazy crazy like the the downfall or the um the the fallout from this is going to go on for just years and years and years yeah no it's crazy i feel bad for like what about people who have like bad home problems or like abusive dad parents anything and you're just oh. stuck with and them. they're stuck oh with them that's God. like what i was the most sad about during that stuff it's uh. just like they have no escape like, or they went to school to get away from it. It's like, mm. there's so many different levels of stuff that people are going through that like, we are all blessed and we don't have to like even witness ever in our life. But it's like, there's so much bad stuff and it just really makes you have so much sympathy for like people. Like we don't know what people are going through. Like, it's just like, even my sibling, like my sisters um, are waitresses and they both lost their jobs. Shout out to OnlyFans because now my sisters are making money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect yeah. segue. <laughs> perfect segue. <laughs> no, they're good now. They're like, we got so we got to talk about this for a second. Oh, All right. it's I, so you know funny because my mom's on Instagram. My two sisters are not on Instagram on OnlyFans. Your mom, <laughs> wait, your mom is on OnlyFans. She's yeah. crushing. Is she crushing? Um, I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't want anyone to. She probably doesn't want me to tell people. But, she doesn't want anyone to know, so she doesn't really post because she's like, I don't want people to know I'm OnlyFans, well, well, but I want to make me, money on OnlyFans. People now know because yeah. you just on this podcast <laughs> saying. It. But it's still that's a light plug. It's a light. Yeah, plug. but it's not like like I'm. I'm like morally right. Like my mom, like we're not on there. Like I'm like, it's like, sorry. Like you're not going to get that kind of stuff. Oh, no nipos. No, 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 but you can't. And a lot of girls like mm -hmm. that, like are, in, they don't really do that kind of stuff. It's kind of like more of a way to like connect with people too. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you can deal. It's like, a, like, in, like a way to like, you can't really like, no one's really going through their DMs and like replying back to people and stuff. But right. on OnlyFans, girls will go and like talk to you and stuff. Have one-on-one -on -one connection. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, 
Um, that's what she's like. She doesn't that much. And she's posting cute stuff, okay? She'll post a little booby, a little booty, but nothing great. No nipples. You, you were like... No nipples or your, fagine. Your mom... <laughs> Your mom's bad. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> she bad. She bad. My She's my boxing coach asks about her every day. Every day. I know. The other day we were standing out here. He's like, Logan was so confused at what he was trying to say. He's I, like, he's I, gonna come. They're they're gonna come visit us in Puerto Rico, right? And, you, and Logan was like, what? Like yeah. I told you about this yesterday. I was like, but he already told me right when he saw me because when he first saw me, he didn't recognize me. And he's like, oh, Summer, that's you. And I was like, yeah, hi. Do I look really different? So, <laughs> and then my anxiety kicks in. <laughs> That's also why I don't like being out in public because people will be like, oh, I saw Summer Rae. She looks nothing like her pictures. I'm like, bitch, I'm Wait, sorry. that's not true. That's, that's not true at all. That's not even people remotely say that. fucking true. And like during COVID, I didn't like have any, have any motivation to work out. So I like really kind of wasn't in the gym like a ton. So I ha I can't say I'm fat because if I ever say that, people are like, you're not fat. Blah, 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 blah. So I have to be like, okay, I'm not happy with my body. And I have like a little layer of like, but I'm on a 11 day cleanse right now. I've nice. been on it for three days. So I'm starving. What's the cleanse? Right now. What's Starving. It's um the Isogenics ER shred, and it's like a all I can have all I can have during the day is two protein shakes, like they give it to you, and then a, like a steak meal at night. Sorry to the vegans, like they don't like that kind of talk, but. <laughs> You seem um, to be apologizing and worrying a little bit about what you're saying. It's you my anxiety. Guys, the world's so... I'm going to be on TikTok and I'm going to see little like clips of summer races. That, oh my God, I didn't know it was offending people. Yeah, but Bo, let me ask you a question. How, I need how, not give up. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going to prescribe that okay. thought, that way of thinking upon you. I need to stop hearing, you. but people really tear... They take one little thing you say and they flip it and make it seem... Oh my God, I didn't say that. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I, I Well, the question I have for you is like, have you seen it actually affect your you know your revenue your like i mean i don't i stay out of like a lot of I, i'm not really a, like a drama person even when i lived in the class back in the day like the whole thing was drama and like i could have gotten involved in it but i don't really like to get in drama and i don't like that to be like my sort like i just hate it i hate conflict and stuff so it's like if i see that i just step away from it so it's like i don't really have that a lot but i'll have it over the stupidest stuff so i was filming this um um, I'm doing like a documentary about like my stalkers and stuff. It's like, it's like, <laughs> Wait, sorry, you know, you that's gonna only going to encourage also, more stalkers. That also, no, it, I don't know. Hey, Logan, but it's I like, it's like shining light on stalkers. Cause people don't really know. And it's like, it's like a doc. It's like a fiction, not fiction. It's like a docu, um, drama, but, um, I was filming it. And so like, it was outside my house and I was doing this scene where I'm like yelling at my stalker. I'm like, stop laring at me. But Someone, paparazzi, I guess, got a video of that and it's circling around the internet that Summer's right, Summer Ray's yelling at this guy for looking <sighs> at her butt. So all my comments on TikTok are, wow, you'll post your butt, but we can't look at it if someone stares at it. I'm like, for one, even if that were the case, I guess in person, if someone was doing something inappropriate, just because I post my ass or whatever, I can decide when I want people. It's just like, I post that because I'm <sighs> posting it. Not because you can't just like be over here like touching my ass and since I post my ass, it's okay. Like, that's stupid. Oh, let me see this. Where oh, is it? Oh my gosh, I'm filming. Like, you can tell Where I'm filming. It? This is it. I'm filming. What, a sh you can tell the guys you, in the back. When do you yell at the guy? I mean, how how many squats can one person really do? <laughs> I'm working out my. So is it like really happened in real life? Like I was working out my soccer drove by, so we did this clip, and I didn't even yell at him in real life. Oh, I was so, you're, actually, so you're acting? Yeah, I'm acting. This is all acting. Oh, actually, oh. Life, the, the sound on this is great. Wow. So he no, was, no he microphone. He was so on far camera, away. Huh? He was so far away. He was like on the other side of the street on a, like a zoom in camera. Who's that? Kinsey in the back? <laughs> yeah, she was my co star. So it's like a docu drop. It's like a it's like a scripted. It's like a scripted um, docu. Like it's like fictitious. So it's like it is real events mixed with not real events because you have to like spice it up a little bit. So it's like. It is some stuff that actually happened to me, but like we added like some other stuff. And it's like just to shine light on like stalkers and like some of the stuff I've been through with it. And I don't know, it's it's pretty cool. But yeah, I got so much hate. Literally, all the comments are like, ah. I'm like, this is what is going on over there. I see a lot of laughter. It just explain it. Let us in on the joke. What is it? I see red faces. George has puked snot all over his hand. What's good? Nothing. Now nah, fucking explain it. Fill us in. Okay, so you guys are looking that way, and she was like, "Yeah, my stalker." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, I can't be the only one to see that." I turned around, both of them were like, <laughs> "What did I do?" 
<laughs> we'll see like, when we watch the... <laughs> I was like, there's Wait, no way. Wait, why was I doing that? I don't, I don't know. know what to do with my aunt. We'll see when we roll I always back. do the most inappropriate <laughs> stuff that people think I'm probably trying to do on purpose or something, but well, I'm like, I mean, really if you're talking not. about your stalkers and you're like, yeah, it's one of my stalkers. You don't pay that, man. I think you're being dramatic. Did I actually... I don't like to see myself on camera. Loki, I don't ever watch anything back that I'm on because I'm like, oh, I hated that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. You're doing great so far. Do you hate this? Now they're making me... Oh, do please don't do that. Summer, these videos... I'm, I'm going to be honest. This I, one was crazy. I remember watching this. I said... You know... So Whoa. <laughs> I actually didn't think what? it was that crazy. I actually want to. I don't even, I bet you that won't even make it past monetization. No, the here, thing. On YouTube, I'll be honest. I was sick. Okay, let me, I want to hit a couple. No, the notes thing here. is, it's weird because on TikTok, I didn't even know if it would upload because I'll sometimes try to post something. And it's not even that. Too like much that. booty for TikTok. And they won't let it post. So then I, I thought this would be taken down. I'm like, they really pick and choose what they want to like crack down on. I went and looked at your channel yesterday. I wanted to just see what the fuck was good. Like, what are you posting what, on what channels? Sure. And I saw... He doesn't Listen, say Elvis anything Presley, like, sure. cut the shit, all right? And I saw that video and I was like, how the fuck did this get past community guidelines? Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. But... It did. It did. Let me That's ask you a question. Thing. Who could potentially give Summer a run for the ass crown of the internet right now. Honestly, I don't even want the ass crown. They can fucking have it. Oh, no, chill out. Oh, don't chill. don't, 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 drop. don't, don't you dare second. shit on the I've fucking I've had the ass crown. Ass. I'm ready for something new. <laughs> like what? What you want? No, I just want to add to it. Like, I don't know. I just... More ass? Is there any <laughs> that's ass... A, that's me adding more to it. Is there any ass that you uh, do adore, though? Like any... any you've been... I'm going to be honest with you. You've always been historically pretty closed mouthed when it came to talk, talking about asses. Like you, you like I, I'd I mean, ask you because I don't appreciate like, fake ass. Like it has I know, to be real. I see, we talked so it's about like this. I will not be like, oh, I love her ass if I think it's fake. What if it's like a real certified booty? Like you fuck with? Is, do you look at Selter as like the 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 early goddess of? Ass? I mean, I have respect for her. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, I like I like Jen. Um, I don't think she has like a crazy huge. It's not. Ass, it's not. But like, it's cute. It's portionate for her body. Athletic, I like her yeah. body. Yeah. But she has no, a really thin frame, so it's like. Yeah, it works. It's cute, and she's short. Like she's kind of shorter. So um, no, I like her body. It's great. I think me and her aren't like our bodies aren't the same. Different so, category. Different. I don't. Uh, people always are like, oh, I'm like, I think I'm in a different category. Like, in for we don't have the same body, so how can you compare us? And I don't like to be compared to anyone. I think we're all in our own lane, doing our own thing. She's successful. I'm successful in my own way. So. That's kind of like, I don't know. I you like know, to compare. Know, yeah, but you, but don't, feel do a bit, you don't feel a bit of a superiority well, complex. J-Lo. I love J-Lo. That's like my, like. Oh, so yours are, yours are more like celebrity, like yeah, driven. Like, not like you don't, you don't have any like. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of in the same space doing the same thing. It's just kind of like, I don't know. It's not like uh, those people. It's like they've really built a crazy empire and like. They, I don't know. It's just like we're kind of in this rat race together, <laughs> like with all those people. Well, and, and let me say, and let me say, I don't. I'm not. I love you. I'm not trying to demean it down to that. It was just a fun question. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're so you're trying to build like, something more than yeah. Than I don't want to be a butt girl. Like yep. that's not my like bent you know, sure, be sure. all. Like you know, and it's like, and I respect everyone in the space doing their thing. Like I respect Jen. I think she has a great body. I think everyone. So yeah, I mean, I respect everyone's hustle, but people always want to like. Um, Everyone wants to like compare us, and I just don't like to be compared to people. Like, but so, stop comparing. so you're not competitive <laughs> at all, though. Not even. I'm not competitive even with myself. Okay. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, this bitch has. To I'm literally the fattest I've ever been in my life right now, and I really just want to get back to my body. Like I used to be so confident in my body, I would go any. Maybe that's where my anxiety and I don't like to go places because I just don't think I look good. Like like I used to. Like I used to really. I thought. Back like 2017, I really did love my body. Like you couldn't keep clothes on a bitch. I was like, uh, uh, uh. nowadays <laughs> I'm just like, uh. like, I'll come like in like full out like sweatpants every day. But I just love the fact how like the non-confident you that's so worried about like being the fattest ever still rocks a fucking cut off. You know what I'm saying? Like, so at your least confident so, level, you're still like. If I was listening to the podcast, I'd really be like, this bitch is crazy. 
crazy. Like she's so <laughs> hypocritical. Like, oh, you're not confident. You're gonna go on TikTok and shake that ass. Like blah blah. But yeah, I don't know. I just I had a shirt on though. Like my stomach is a little chunky, so maybe that's why I was covering it. We interrupt this program to bring you a word from our sponsors. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always looking at a screen now more than ever, literally right now. And whether you're an avid news watcher or in serious need of a distraction, unplugging yourself is easier said than done. And one of my favorite ways to rest my eyes and still get the content I'm itching for by putting in my Raycon wireless earbuds and listening to something great. Whether you're catching up on your favorite news podcast, binging an audiobook, or powering through your workout with a pumped up playlist, a pair of Raycons in your ears makes all the difference. I use them when I go running on my runs. No dangling wires or stems to get in your way. Raycons come in a range of stylish colorways, but always with a comfortable in-ear fit for a more discreet look. They're built to perform anywhere and anytime with water and sweat-resistant construction and Bluetooth that pairs quickly and seamlessly. And with enough battery life for six hours of playtime, you can unplug for a while. And the best part? They make great sound accessible to everyone with wireless earbuds starting at half the price of other premium audio brands. Here's the CTA. They're offering 15% off their products for my listeners. And all you got to do is go to buyraycon.com slash Logan to get 15% off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash Logan. Link in description. Back to the program. I'm like, people really think I'm like always like very confident. Like I'm a normal human. Like I'm, I have insecurities and like, I, and it's annoying when people think that I can't have insecurities. Like if I'm talking, if I went on to Instagram or anyone was like, oh, I have insecurities. I think I'm fat. I think I don't look good. Everyone's comes for me. Like you can't think that. Like, I think I can think that like everyone in their own right has insecurities in their own way. Like, you know, so it's just like, I don't know. People think that it's just like kind of a lot of pressure. It's like I do have insecurities. OK. And for the longest time, I've always thought that like everyone is like back when I like, especially when I first got popular, it's like she's a butter face. She's, so I've always my whole what? life thought I had an ugly face. What's wrong with people? So it's just like people like don't understand like what like social media does to you and shit. But like, I am pretty strong. So I like, I don't really let it affect you. But like when pe some people are saying the same thing over and over again, or I've put, I post something in my face. It's like, turn around. It's like, that's all they care about. It's like, it's just fucking annoying. You know, have you, did you ever get to a point where you very early for me, when I started getting hate for whatever reason, for this thing, for that, that thing, it was, it was very easy for me to discern that these people that would say really fucked up shit, were really fucked up people and to then completely put them in a category mm -hmm. where I didn't give a shit what they said, because I mean, yeah. were, were you able to like, when I see those comments of, of just filled with f and fueled by hatred and sadness and depression mm -hmm. in their own lives. Yeah, I mean, it's a reflection of them. It's that, like, well, if that's you're happy and you're in a good place, you're not going to go on Instagram and be like all this mean shit to people. And, but it's like, it doesn't change the fact. I'm not saying that it affects me all the time. Like some days I do wake up and I'm confident as fuck. And I'm like, fuck all these. All. But then sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm not very confident today. I kind of feel like shit, but that's life. That's me a human um but yeah it's a reflection of like how they feel about themselves and i don't really take anything personal from people who don't know me personally so they can't really have an opinion but there'll be days i'm a girl i'm about to start my period i get a little emotional i'll see stuff coming in i'll say because i get like oh you're old because like you know we've been on the internet for a long time we were people just talking like, about your old news oh i forgot <laughs> about her but i'm like what the so it's like in these little kids minds they're so like fast food they have such an attention span of a mouse they're like oh what's new what's hot what's new that they really do kind of forget about people that's quick. So, so funny that's so it's like they're like squirrel like you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, cool. I am old news to you. But it's like, you get that on a bad day. It's like, some days I don't care, but you get me on a bad day. I'm like, My I <laughs> am old news. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what helps I me? Acknowledging it. Like, like noticing how you're feeling, uh, noting, oh, I, I might not be feeling like my full confident self mm -hmm. today, acknowledging it. And then also besides acknowledging it within myself, I tell people around me. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I was going to FaceTime this girl the other day. And it was like our first time FaceTiming. And I told my boys, I was like, guys. Were you I, nervous? I go, I, I wasn't nervous. I just wasn't feeling confident. You need a pep talk? No, I just wasn't feeling <laughs> confident. I, don't, I didn't think I had what it took to like make her laugh and like hold a conversation. So I told my boys, I was like, I don't know, guys, you know, I'm not feeling that confident, whatever. And then they, they call me a pussy and stuff. And that really helped. <laughs> And, then, and so I got, that I got my shit together. I don't know if it was them encouraging me, but like me, I remember me acknowledging it and just like putting it all on the line. This is how I feel. I'm not hundred percent right now. It made me feel better. And then going in with that energy of like, yo, this is what I got. This is the best I got right now. We're going to do the best we can. And it worked. And I did great. So you killed it. 
10 10? No, no. It was like an 8 out of 10, but like I thought it would be much But worse. that is the best attitude. That is the acknowledge, best attitude. Acknowledge it but and a, move but, on. But the last thing you said about we're all just out here trying to do the best we can. That's yeah. it. And as long as you look at everybody and like some people are doing better than others. You know what I'm saying? I suck at, at the that kind of stuff because like if somebody were to tell me like, yo, you're not relevant anymore. Like my brain's all fucked up. Like I'm just like, bitch, you never were. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why are you talking to me? Like what I'm if they fucked were? up. What sometimes if they were? I am if they, like so, that. I, so the ones that are or were never say that to me. Mm. So that's why. But if one did, then I'll be like, damn. Damn. Now I got to now I got to switch little it weird up. when I read like for example on on these comments and the bullshit comments somebody's like yo this guy George he's the oh, I've fuck seen up. him reply back to some of them so Oh I'll do it so hell yeah. yeah I snap no, back No it's funny George. it's fun yeah. snap, it's fun <laughs> I snap back but in like a playful way <laughs> like absolutely. like I'll say somebody like, like for example He snaps back in like a way I'll go way. somebody get this guy a cookie he's sad like I'll just say weird shit but also I lo I don't know why I'm sick I love it when somebody he's talks sick. shit about me in a comment I go yeah let me fuck your mind up for the rest of the day like I, I don't know why I love it there's I two love being there's mind. just two sides like because I've I love doing that too and it's great to get the feedback of all the other people that are like get them you know like they come and in because you fuck comes them up in and like the, like bullies them too 100 <laughs> percent. the problem is is that it's 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 reinforcing and training an activity because, because these like, motherfuckers are all I swear George no one feels a certain way about you they don't feel a certain way about me the people that watch the show watch the show the, the people are saying this why, do you want to know why you so mean to me right now relax this is Oh, I, I said, oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Uh, they they do that because it's like a little lottery ticket for them. They're like, yo, if I get the numbers get right, I get a reaction from a from a celebrity or an influencer. That's it. Then nobody yeah, actually feels. So they any get me on a period day. Way. I see that shit. I'm like crying about it. I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm like, yeah. No, you know what's happened before? I literally will like reply back to it or say something like, "Well, God bless you" or something like. They're like, "Oh my God, hi! I didn't know you yeah. were respond." I'm like. Why couldn't you have said something nice? So then yeah, I never comment back to mean ones because it's like, then it shows everyone else like, oh, I'm saying how much I love her and how beautiful she is. And Correct. now she's replying back to the mean stuff. Yeah. So it's like, I try not to train that behavior. So if you're commenting mean stuff, I'm not saying it. I'm closed minded to it though. Though, because everyone's going to say the things that I'm saying like makes me insecure. They're going to you're a better face. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have the right policy. You have the right policy on it. Like we all need to, I, I'll, you know, speak for everybody. I think in the creator community, a lot of people already do this, but I think everybody can get better at reinforcing that positive mm -hmm. behavior. And uh, it doesn't mean the negative is going to go away because that's life. And guys, have you guys realized TikTok is the most toxic place? Worst, I've worst, ever worst. I say it all the time. In Nothing my even life. close. I'm the only one that's not on the platform. I don't oh, ever. You don't have a gosh. channel? I don't. I do. I just don't. I, ever, post I never it off. open it up. I, I don't open it up is because I respectfully think it's fucking weird that there's 12 year old girls dancing. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. quickly, I did too. Then I fell into the rabbit hole of of for you and how good their algorithm is. It is it is phenomenal. It serves you some of the most interesting and entertaining short comedy like content in the world. But it is quite literally four thousand times more toxic than the most toxic yeah. competitor. But it yeah. is it is horrifying. I know you're right because you know Kava. He only sends me. He doesn't even watch the videos. He loves the comment sections. He's an evil human being. You know? Oh yeah, there he's you go. evil. Like what I mean, evil. Like like evil. Like he's a bad person. But I love him. I don't know why. But he says and he dies of laughter at these comments. And the comment section is like, they like try to be clever with how mean they are. And whoever gets the most like favorites, it goes it. to the top. So I it's think like they're trying to say whatever mean and like gets the most attraction to like get their top comment. I'm like. I think that they, I think that if so, I've said this uh, two years ago, I said this, if social platforms got rid of the ability to upvote and like people's comments, people it would reduce 60 to 80% of the hate on, on the internet. I don't know why you can like comments. Like, what's the point of that? Like, what does it benefit anyone? Uh, so a lot of social media apps are about uh, community. Obviously, you know, yeah, it's a community of TikTok. And when you comment, there's a community around the people who No, are, I'm saying like the comments, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, when it, if it fosters a community yeah, where people like can upvote, yeah. downvote, like and talk hall. about things. But you can't down it, though. You can't unlike it. Uh, not, not on TikTok. On oh, that's what I'm talking about. Because yeah. I haven't gone on YouTube in a hot minute. But yeah, that's one thing. That I hated TikTok when it was only like TikTok kids on my feed and all this stuff. I was like, I hate this. But then someone was like, you have to go like stuff that you like. Yep, yep. So I love snakes and I love bugs. So I go and I like <laughs> all the videos of animals. And my whole feed is just like cool snakes and bugs and stuff. So it's really nice. You want to address what just, are you serious? Yeah, I could scroll through. Yeah, I have, I have five snakes in a tarantula. So I love like that. Snakes in the grass? Snakes on a plane? <laughs> yeah, they're snakes. You know any snakes, any people that are snakes? 
I know, I feel a problem, yeah. You want to expose him live on Impulsive? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> you oh can. God, I mean, like looking no, I mean, you can. I mean, I feel like I just can't be like, oh, this person's a snake. It has to, it have to be into <laughs> the conversation. Listen, listen, listen. Not, not, no, like yeah, yeah. Why don't, why don't you guys keep talking? No, why don't you guys keep talking? It's, it's your fine. It's, it's your show. not mine today. It's impulsive, not in Georgia. No, please. Whatever you guys want to talk about. Okay, this might get cut. I don't know if it'll get cut or not, but somebody sent me this and I just want to talk to you about it. You could totally say, don't talk about it. I saw I saw your your boyfriend get beat up by like Drake's friends. Oh, that was like such a do you know that boyfriend I haven't dated in a while. I broke up with him like a long Wait, time ago. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, you're I'm ago. saying my buddy goes, Hey man, I met this guy with you. And then I looked at it and I was like, Oh, I know him. Yeah. And then in the video, like 13 seconds in, full ass whoop. Wait, but who like who? you guys are you talking about Bennett? Yeah. See, they didn't Bennett got, See, this was Bennett so got beat long up? ago. What? So yeah, I think it's very it. long ago. I mean, I don't, I think I could technically talk about it. I mean, I'm not in the lawsuit and stuff. So it's like, Whoa, I don't know. Lawsuit. <laughs> George yeah. bringing hot contact. <laughs> you, got, you got a beat up boyfriend? Um, I mean, I don't, uh, you guys, they can, I don't know. I don't like him. Like, you got a brand new boyfriend who's not beat up? I don't know. I, guys, I like re learn to keep all relationships private as hell because I was very this boyfriend very private no one knew about him and then I realized I was like okay maybe I want a public boyfriend blah blah, blah. so then I started dating guys publicly like who I and how I was that just like oh my god who, who, like, like who were those I mean, is it like annoying to like say names and stuff? No, nah, no, nah, because you're the guest with it and you're just answering questions that are being asked. So it's, I mean, um, all right, I, watch this. You had a very high profile relationship with MGK as well as Taylor Holder. Okay, yeah. a TikTok star. Oh, yeah. I, I hear you don't want to okay, name, don't you don't wanna wanna name talk drop. To, you don't want to name yeah, drop. Yeah, I hate, gotcha, I hate that. Gotcha. That's not me. Like, gotcha. everyone's always like, go through your DMs and expose people. Like, nah. I have a lot of dirt. You know, I could do a lot of dirty stuff, but it's just like, that's not really, that's not really Can why I do I want. it for you? Just, <laughs> just let me do one scroll. I have so much Please. stuff. Please but it was let me back in the scroll. day, like 2016, 2017. Like, this is before you could unsend messages and stuff. And this is before people really understood that people now it's like I feel like celebrities are like oh I'm in the hot water doing this kind of stuff but back then they're like full sending like <laughs> oh my god that's crazy well I mean it depends on what you say like what are they saying to you like I mean just like the basic stuff I mean, and you guys know I, I've never like hooked up with a celebrity in my life I did a Colson never had sex with them people I always say that and everyone's like probably why do you have to say that but it's just because it's like something very true to me like I'm like the most prude person ever like only have had sex with people like five people my whole life and they're all boyfriends I've dated for like three plus years I mean maybe not one of them or two of them but like at least three months I like make you wait like at least three months and like I have to make sure like you're someone good to me like I'm not gonna make you a number if you're not good to me you know so Colson just never passed the test <laughs> Wow. That's so fucked up. But I said Colson. You know my accent. Like, it's kind of complicated. Just got there. That lyric hit me hard now. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't really feel bad saying that because he did kind of cheat on me with Megan Fox. So it's kind of like, because uh. if you look at the timeline of us dating, we were together in Puerto Rico. He, he said, come to Puerto Rico with me. And I said, okay. And I go to Puerto Rico. He's he's um, filming this movie, The Switchblade Grass, whatever. I don't know this movie. Switchblade Grass. Yeah. And he... <laughs> So I don't know, it's this movie that he's filming with Megan Fox. You know, he's hyped about it. Yeah. And I was like, cool, yeah. So I wait in the ho uh, hotel the whole time when he's filming with her. And I'm like, I'm not really thinking anything of it. Like, because I, I never really. No. And I don't want to be you like. You weren't thinking anything of it? It's Megan, it's Megan fucking, Fox. fucking Fox. I thought she was older and like had kids and married and stuff. Like I didn't. Well, those she are was. all true. Those are all true. <laughs> still Megan Fox. I know Fox. it is. And the thing is, that's why I'm not even mad about it. I'm like, dude, I'd probably do the same thing. This like I'd cheat on Me Colson with Megan Fox. Like if it was the other way around, I probably would be doing it's the probably same. Probably possible. So then, but the thing that's not really fair about it is like he, um, he made me, and I probably would have never talked about this because I do not like to talk about this kind of stuff and I don't like to like air people's business, but he went to Twitter and made it seem like I was the devil. Like I broke up with him on his birthday. I got death threats for like weeks and weeks after that from all his like cult following of like, you suck, blah, blah, blah. That's not what it was at all. He just wanted to break up with me because he was dating Megan, like Bucky Megan. You know that music video that they shot? Yeah, it was like yeah, the yeah. Bloody Valentine, whatever. I asked him, um, like, oh, like why he didn't invite me to the music video. And he was like, oh, well, the COVID restrictions. No, like you, you can't come. It only can be my, he, and then that music video <laughs> came out. I was like, <laughs> I, I that's have, I have something to say. <laughs> and that's fine. That's I like, have something to say. 
I have to play devil's advocate for one second. Well, I'm not doing it with him. It's fine. I'm not even mad That's about it. That's why I think yeah, I if you were holding out yeah. for as long as you, I'd be like, yo, where Dude, are we going with this? I have I have a, a, what's it called? A bush in the hand, but two birds That's in the bush in, in my hand. Yes. I have birds in my bush. A bird yes. in the hand. I have a stone in my hand, but there's birds This is why you guys have such a fucking hard time getting a girl that's good. You keep doing your fucking thing. The thing is, wait, guys. Guys, I see both sides. I see How long were you dating? How long were you dating him? Three months. Yo, whoa, 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 he knew, didn't he knew? You probably talked about it You're on the first I day. I told him. Like, hey, the first time I, I told, told him, him no. I was like, no. I ain't putting out. No, 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 I love I to hold him. out. I love to hold out. A girl, I told a girl him. has to hold Your out for hold a month. Your is three days, not three months. A month, it has to be a month. I told for me him to date you, guys, you have to not fuck me I for a month. That's that the rule. I think that even if I was having sex with him, he would still do that with Megan. Of course he would, it's Megan fucking Fox. But I didn't really think about it. I didn't really think about it because I thought she was married. It's because she was in fucking Puerto Rico. Nothing good happens in Puerto Rico. Guys, that's where I met my stalker in Puerto Rico. At that place, at that place. <laughs> he met. You he followed me from Puerto Rico to um LA. <laughs> guys, I don't know. Should we cut all this? I no, mean, no, no, this is the only day. day. No, I don't want him to watch this and be like, "Summer's a little petty bitch." No, I don't no, think he's no. gonna listen. He really, we know, we know, Colson. The thing, the thing about it is just that. You made him. It's a marathon, dog. That's three, three fucking. What the fuck's he gonna do, dude, dog? Dude, that's dude. like a gentleman. Yo, you like know, a gentleman. Did you, know, did you guys know I'm that not, I lost my relationship with my dad over dating him? He texted me how disgusting I was for dating him. And why? Why you were dating your, your dad? Year. No, I was dating Colson. <laughs> why did, did you, Why did your dad not approve? He just didn't want me dating him. That's, you know? that's fucking Machine Gun Kelly right there. Yeah, he didn't want me dating him. That's he told me I was disgusting. Guess what? He was fucking right. Guess what happened? Yeah, my dad's like- Listen to your mother fucking father. Wait, wait, nothing mm -hmm. happened. Nothing happened. I mean, nothing happened. He cheated on her. No, he didn't. But he Megan just, Fox. They yeah, just, they parted ways amicably. They parted legs. All right, that's no, it, No, they George. didn't. Oh, you know what he would do? Uh, he started this thing where <laughs> he would so he would turn this. off um, his. He started turning off his phone before bed, and I'd be like, "Why are you doing that?" He's like, "Oh, I've heard that like the the vibrations That's from your right. phone hurt your." And I was like, <laughs> "No, it's because Megan too. wasn't gonna call." I know. <laughs> Yo, you know what? Actually, in all honesty, wait, wait, why is your no, fucking stop. phone on? Stop. Is her phone's no, on, stop. but his ass. Shut his up. radiation is gonna kill me. Stop. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm like, I'm like, my phone's right here. Do I should I? He's like, no, no. No, leave your shit on. Leave your shit on. Look, 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 look. I want to change this. I want to change this. Look, look, look. look. <laughs> final note. Obviously not an advocate for cheating in any way, ever, under any circumstance, ever. I can just see, again, playing devil's advocate, how one I, could slip up, if that's what you want to call guys, it. Guys, the thing I, is, I don't hate him for it. I, I think they're a cute couple. I actually, yeah. me and the him, were, couple. me and him were just not, like, people saw that and was like, what is this? Like, you know, it's like, I'm not mad about it. I want them the best. And like, it's Megan Fox. Like, seriously, like, I'm happy for him. But it's like the way that he went, made it seem like I was the devil. It's like, buddy, just be honest. Like, you found something better. I'm happy for you. But like, if that didn't all happen, if we parted ways better, like, I would have never said anything. But like, he made me seem like the devil. I was like, that's kind of unfair. Like, people always paint me out to be the devil. I feel like everyone has this perception of me because it's like, but it's never true. It's I, I have a maybe fucked up question. Okay. Not even related to you, just kind of, <laughs> Jed might cut this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, oh. I, 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 lo I love when a girl makes me wait. She has to. She wants to be my girlfriend. You And you're saying that you want someone to look at this to see if it should be cut. Is that what you're actually saying right now? Huh? That you thought that might be cut? No, Wait, I'm said. in the midst of my. That, I'm not oh, even in the oh, middle. Oh, he's not like done. Mike, Mike, his pauses make you seem like he's done, though. He's yeah, like, no, he did. Because he's building up. Stop cutting him off, well, guys. I've I also been on buddy. 260 <laughs> episodes with him. That, that pause sound, sounded final, but good. Love when a girl makes me wait. It's absolutely necessary for to maintain a, a meaningful relationship for me in particular. I've always been afraid of having been made uh, wait, and then the sexual chemistry is not there. Sexual chemistry is important to me. It really is. I, as I assume for most people, like I, I like that passion, those fireworks in the bedroom. Pew, 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 pew. It's not the entire thing, but it is important to me. So what happens if the 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 wait is uh, demanded and then you wait and the then you is, have that that moment and it's it's not what it you cross what that you bridge it when you get there. But also, okay, okay. I've not always always made like I've always at least made like two like wait two months or whatever. But it's not like we don't do other stuff. Like that sounds weird, but like. I guess not like a like little, what? little hand. Yo, when you there. said that, just so you know, <laughs> when you said that, it's not like we don't do other stuff. I looked at Donnie and went, mm. 
<laughs> he went, no, he went, he went. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, guys. <laughs> he went, mm. That's fair. <laughs> but how long can you do dry hand jobs? Uh, I don't know, guys. Well, I don't, I don't know if that But the was. thing is, I just <laughs> didn't she know She said it. She said it. Thing. Uh, you uh, blow no, job. you might not have had it on camera, but I seen her do this. Uh, okay. Regardless, okay, guys, this is... I'm, I'm, I hate talking about sexual stuff. It's the weirdest thing for me. I'm not a very sexual person. People would think I am, but I'm really not. Like, I am, like, with my significant other, but I don't like talking about it. It makes me very uncomfortable. Dog, and also, that's just, completely fine. I'm and doing, if you're a girl out there and you're saving yourself for six months, 12 months, 18 months, yeah, 24 yeah. months, 10 years, until you're married, until you die. Good More power to you. More power, power for them. More power. Seriously, dude. No, but I'm saying. Seriously, dude. Great. But the thing is, a lot of girls don't realize the power that they have. Like, Massive. that's your oh, power. True. Power the oh, ocean, baby. Whoa. It is more power. powerful than the ocean. <laughs> so, it's I don't know. I do. I, like, I'm, like, very, I stay true to myself, and that way I've actually never had sex with a little big celebrity ever in my life, because, like, obviously, like, I've dated them, but even haven't done that. Um, so, it's just, like, I'm, like, I have very strong morals and a very like strong sense of like who I will give myself to. And like, I just, can I ask you how? And I feel like other people should be like, I feel like girls should do that. And like, I think that it's empowering. It's very, I don't know, but then girls will be like, oh, feminist, oh, like, that's fucked up. I'm like, but it's also in my way, feminist in a sense of we hold the, like I'm a fucking queen and no one, not, I'm just gonna like anyone up in these cheeks. You know what I mean? Like, can I ask you, you have to how? Be like a king to get. <laughs> I'll go one more time. I'll go one more time. <laughs> no! Can I ask you how? What do you mean? How, how? you maintain this this moral standard Morality. that is so, uh, so high? I mean, it's something like me and George kind of talk Whoa. about. Whoa, like. <laughs> we go on deeper levels, dog. You wow. Christian? You Christian? Oh, she's ah, big time. Jesus, huh? You didn't yeah. know that? He's good. He'll well, do, I mean, I good. don't really label myself as a Christian these days because people are like, I just have a relationship with Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and like that's my own. Let's go get the lights, G. What are you waiting for? <laughs> is that? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Y'all ready for this? And a word from our sponsors. Guys, you looking to last longer and go a few extra rounds? Uh, yeah. You want to be confident and bet every time it's time for sex? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Get to BlueChew.com. Let's go. They got the first ever chewable that brings your performance in the bedroom to another level. Check this out. They've got the same active ingredients that are in Viagra and Cialis, so you know they work. And since they're chewable, they can work faster. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And this stuff is cheaper than the other two, so it's a no-brainer. Basically, if you like sex... You'll love Blue Chew. <laughs> Trust me. You don't need to go to the doctor's office, office or spend time waiting in the pharmacy line. Blue Chew's online physician consult is free. And once approved, your order ships straight to your door in discreet packaging. Got a great deal for you guys. Go to BlueChew.com. Get your first order free when you use a promo code LOGAN. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that's B-L-U-E Chew.com. Promo code LOGAN. Back to the program. <laughs> is that the thing that stops you from claiming Only what fans? many oh. in in Los Angeles, <laughs> and that is go yes. where I'm going with this, but what many in LA consider to be the ultimate motherfucking duffel bag, which is the Summer Ray OnlyFans account. Why you not printing paper? Why you not having the Brinks truck back up to the new house, Summer? Well, just, Why you not pulling the dump truck out for the boys, Summer? <laughs> What's good, Summer? I, wanna I know. mean, honestly, I can post that TikTok stuff on OnlyFans. Stuff okay, like, so that's what I'm asking you. But it's you not already about post the content. Shit. It's not about the content as much. Like, I'm not going to do, like, no crazy stuff, you know, my morals no and post. all that. But people are going to be able to connect with me. I'm going to go in there. I would go on there and talk to them and all kinds of stuff. But, like, it's just, like, the stigma of it of, like, oh, everyone assumes Summer Rae would make an OnlyFans. Like, oh, people, like, you know, it's just, like, I just hold myself to a higher standard of, like, how I view myself. A lot of people might see Summer Rae and they're, like, oh, she's the best butt on Instagram. It's, like, okay, You don't want to prove people right. But like, that's not who I am. So, as so a you don't want to make money. Like so, left, so you yes. got, you, you know what you I have layers to myself that I wish, wish people, because even if I try to show people it, they don't, they're, they're just so blind to it. And girls... For some reason, girls never want to like me, but I'm really a girl. I post my stuff and I do everything for girls, but a lot of the times they just like, oh, my boyfriend follows you. Oh, that's like, and it's like that makes them what's like, your just hate me, what's, you your, what's your breakdown? What's your audience breakdown? I mean, I'm a lot of guys, but on TikTok, <laughs> on TikTok I'm 50-50. 50 50? Oh, yeah. word? Yeah. So it's like, I'm, <laughs> it's a word? I've never heard oh, you damn. say that anymore. 50 oh, word? Uh, damn, no. girl, you got 50 50 on TikTok. But like, what I want to do is like, 
I want to like cater girls more. It's like I feel like I want to be that girl for like young girls to look up to. Like I've been in the game for a minute now. It's like I've never gotten any work done. I've always kept my Damn. same face, my same everything. Never touch my like never touch anything. Where a lot Damn. of girls come into the space and they look different within a year. You know, it's just like I always have stayed true and I stay true to myself. Not that I don't have insecurities about my face or things I would like to change about myself, but it's the fact that I have a uh, like. I have, I'm like a statue for, I want to be like a statue for young girls to look at and be like, I don't want to look like Summer, but I want to be like Summer in the sense of she's confident. She stands true to herself. Like, you know, it's like, be you. Like, that's my movement. And that's always been a thing that I stand true to is like, I myself, if I have tiny boobs, whatever, I work hard for my body. It was like, whatever is mine is like, I just embrace it. And that's just who I am. And I've always stayed true to myself. So, and that's answers your question of like, why I don't sleep around. I just stay true to myself. So. And that's my just became my I favorite just wanna, guest. I know. I wanna, <laughs> it's mad noble. It's so noble. I love it. Uh, but you can't ignore the bag. Or can you? I know, but the thing is... Is the bag I worth wanna, more than your pride? Well, it depends what kind of content you're posting. She said no Nevos. It's so normalized nowadays where it's like, I always say if like J-Lo got on the app, it's going to be so normalized. that ever. It, it's so weird because sex is so normalized these days. And... I don't know that it's like just because I'm not going to be like selling sex on there. It's just like OnlyFans is not going anywhere. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't want to like miss out on the bag and I'm not going to sell my moral. It's like I'm not going to like do anything I'm not morally comfortable with. And also um, people are going to hate regardless. So it's like I sometimes battle with my mind. It's like people are going to hate me regardless. People are always going to be like, oh, Summer's not morally right. She's famous for her ass, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So. Um, people are already going to have that way of thinking about me. So I have to stop caring about what people think so much. But I do want to be a good role model for girls where it's like I do show my body, but it's because I show when I want to. And I, and I don't sell my body. I do it because I work hard for my body. I've been working hard for my body my whole life. I'm confident about my body. And if I want to shake a little booty, it's my choice. And I can if I want to. Shake a lot of where, booty. <laughs> a lot. So, it's, so it's like, I don't want to be like telling girls like, oh, get on OnlyFans to make money. So it's like, I like to be a good example on girls. Like I also don't want to be like, oh, shake your ass all the time. But is that what you want to do? If that was make you feel confident, if that's what make you happy, shake your booty a little bit. What so, about another premium subscription service that isn't OnlyFans? Is it the I stigma? Like talking about it. <laughs> no, it's not that. No, I even made my own platform 100%. It's 100% done. I could launch it, yeah. but it's just not the I'm same. Sure. What, if it had, what if it had bulletproof payment processing systems and serverless uh, uh, servers Servers, and it was run by very smart people and also had great branding capabilities I mean, and it was called Subify and it was brought to you by <laughs> Chase and Zach. Shout out Chase and Zach. <laughs> Sign up for the Maverick Club at Maverick Club. Yeah, they do my club and they're sick. And my club called Overtime Crew. It's just like on OnlyFans, you, the cra the money that you can make on there is just like mind blowing. You know what I mean? So Yeah, I do know what you mean. Because even, <laughs> even the people who are making money on there, all the girls, like I know them and stuff and they're telling me they're not posting Guess how much nipples, made they're not posting online. Jean. Guess how much I made on mine without showing my dick. Is he lying? I can never tell if he's. I don't know what he's about to say. I'll tell you after he says it. <laughs> Did he make an OnlyFans? That's, oh, on yours, on your new stuff. You don't have an OnlyFans, okay? I'm Billions. Billions. Wow, getting the cater to my super NFTs. fans. I'm making an NFT. What are you actually? And it, can I, what is it? It better just be your ass. A booty pick. Is it? That's what, is it actually? It should be. That's what I was gonna say. It's gonna crush. It's gonna crush. You it's gonna beat out. It's gonna beat out people. People. It's gonna beat out people, dude. What's that? People. Uh, wait, wait, wait. But you just, I, you just said I don't sell my body. That is words you just said. No, but and then now you have an entity of your butt. But that's not really. Is that selling your body? No, I'm selling. I'm like, just listening to what you're telling me. I now nah, you're gonna you, sell an NFT. I mean, you can and go get on my a bag. Depends on the and outlook. Not, is it a fitness booty pick? Yeah. Boom. What? It's, it's like uh, being a fitness model. Oh, you I'm are just flaunting your your. I'm, your, your I'm imagine intake information. Somebody, imagine so you many, saw somebody doing. Is, she doesn't want to do OnlyFans because the stigma of nudity. Yeah, What's yeah. Only the, the, I'll go on there and I'll sell a booty pic. What's the difference? People are getting it for free on my That's Instagram. What I'm saying. So you, sh I think. There's a missed opportunity there's, here. The What's thing the is with life is there's so many different perspectives that people can see stuff from and people can come at me and be like, oh, you're being hypocritical. But you're doing this. You can do that all day long. You know what I mean? I'm talking about, I'm not going to be on there like, Playing with my vagina. And no, I don't, no, it's no. I know we were going for that. And I was like, <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't think anyone's like expecting you to. So. Okay, good. No, but I, that's the stigma of people that have. Like, if you make well, it, yeah, but let me, let, me, let, me, let me say fucking one thing here. It, do you know what you can put in your bank account? Money. You know what you can't put in your bank account? 
people's assumptions, yeah. stigma. So okay, guys, fuck let's that shit. Let's and now I'm not saying to do anything crazy, Summer. But what I am saying is this: you've definitely had some posts removed from Instagram. You've definitely had some posts removed from TikTok. What if your only fan fans is simply the shit that you couldn't see on fucking those channels because yeah, it got pulled that's down? That's what I'm saying. The uncut, un. The, the stuff we couldn't show you on those channels. It's right. not porn. It's not fucking. Yeah, I'm not doing anything that crazy. I know, I but that's what I'm saying. I try to keep it a little tasteful. That's what I'm saying, you know? Summer Wood. This is us being just being in friends a, at this point. Like, way. yo, dog, so you're, okay, you're guys, giving who, away. Who you're thinks giving, I should make an OnlyFans? Like, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Do you want to make an uh, OnlyFans? Yeah. I mean, you guys, I'm, I'm on the fence about it because I'm like, what we were saying. I think it's the only so reason dumb I'm not, not is to. because of people's assumptions of what I'm doing. Yo, say it again. I'm only not. You can't put it. people's assumptions in your bank account. Okay, so maybe. But, but that doesn't but mean that morals. But the thing is, what about aren't... brands? What about brands? Are they going to be? Yeah, they, the thing brand, I'm not, you they start your own with the millions of dollars you're going to make. No, they don't give a shit, dude. They're like as you long think? as you're not as long as you're not getting. Okay, you, what is just, your assumption? If you find you, out girls on OnlyFans, you, are you like all of a sudden? Like, if you find out girl, you, you want to date her, and you find out she's on OnlyFans, oh, you're like, this is my this is my answer. It doesn't matter what I think about what a girl's doing. It doesn't matter. If you get on there and you're not comfortable and you feel like you're you're See, dishonoring that's the only yourself, part reason my business partner doesn't want me to do it. He he's like, do it, but if you're not, no money is worth your internal like, like you know, it's because just not once worth you it. do it and you cross that line, and you're disappointing yourself. And then because it's, like it's a fun. lot of why, people, why is why is she disappointed in herself? Yeah, like I'm not gonna do because anything how much crazy. money you guys you guys understand every single one of us here makes incredible money and there's always going to be more opportunity and there's always going to be the hunger the for money, money more. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Okay, go ahead. I the mean, money, money she'll make. Crazy. The argument just stopped. Right? The okay, money she'll make posting for brands that are not hers. I'm not talking about posting brand deals. as in, I'm not she is. About brand she is posting for brands that are not hers okay. and companies that are not hers Got it. will pale in comparison to doing it herself, making 10 times more money, building her own brand on the platform that she gets paid to do. Got it. Totally understood. But again, I'm throwing money out of the window. Why would I don't, you do that? Because I don't care about money. I was kidding. I just was, mm. This is what I'm thinking. See, that's my it, downfall in life. If I cared about money, I'd be on. Every single person who's not me is always like, Summer, if I, if I were you, I'd be on that shit. But it's just like, money doesn't rule my life. Oh, this oh. is why you're the only... Oh. This is, you're literally one of the only girls no, in LA that has their shit together and that's then, happy. Then, then what the fuck? We, we suck then. No, but hold on a second. I, this why? is my I last because summer. Because it's like a lot of people don't have a rock. They don't have a foundation. They come up here. It's so much distractions. There's so much stuff happening. They don't know what to do. They get into drugs. Mm. They start chasing guys. They it's like they get blinded by the lights. It's like where I have like a rock. I have a solid relationship with like Jesus. Where it's like if I ever get like, what do I do? It's like I have someone that I, you know, like you know what of I mean. Course, it's, I, like, on one it's like it's like a rock. Percent. It's like I have like foundation where a lot of people don't have that. My so, my final point on it is all, look at all, these all, boys. all like, no stop. First of all, no, I didn't say and I said nothing. I didn't even raise my hand look for at you. Logan. He's like, I am God. No, listen, Summer, <laughs> Summer. You're I'm looking at so him. Much. What? Summer, Satan, go ahead. Focus. <laughs> listen to me for a fucking second. I will kill you. If you. <laughs> oh my God. If you were just a if you were just a girl who wasn't shaking her booty, you were say you were a corporate chick and you were, and you were a CFO at a, at a small firm, right? And they were like, "Yo, if you do OnlyFans, there's big money there." And you're like, "Damn, but I don't know if I want to risk the corporate life. I don't yeah. know if I want to go down that that tube, right?" But then there's just simple business decisions and utilizing content you're trying to already post but can't because mm -hmm. the platforms won't let you to make you millions of <laughs> motherfucking dollars, Summer. It's no different than what you're already posting. Yeah. You're just, the only reason you're saying no to it is because you think there's a stigma around it yeah. that, by the way, doesn't really fucking exist. This dude. is, this is the, so, this is the start to a avalanche of a mindset. Of what? Oh, it is, terrible, George? Terrible, terrible decision. Really? Tell terrible me why. Decision. Tell me why. Because George, your motive George, is money no, and stop. power. That's First all of all, I'm money throwing something out there. Don't ever, don't ever, stop, kind of stop. Let me, no, let me, OnlyFans. stop. Let me defend myself. First of all, don't ever fucking make an assumption about me. That's it. I'm not a make, I'm, I'm listening don't, to what you're saying. It's fucking correct. We're it's having literally word for what you're saying. Money and power is my only motive in life. I am egotistical, man. I will take over the, that's not what I'm saying, George. We're having a fucking conversation here. Relax, stop. Let me just I'm finish. Say, okay. I just had one word. Let me finish oh, wow. what I'm saying here. Okay, go ahead. If I told you right now, George, mm -hmm. you love Jesus. Yes. You talk about Jesus on this podcast. There is a platform where you could make way more money talking about Jesus. Yes. Wait. Why and you, you wait I'm because I know because I know you're chomping at the fucking bits here. Okay. No, I can patiently wait okay. for you to finish. 
Why would you not go and talk about the things you're already talking about for money? Do you understand what I'm saying right now? Yes. Okay, so what's the problem? are you understanding what she is saying? See, you're so hard-headed that you're not listening to what I she's didn't saying. throw out any insult to you. Why no. are you throwing insults at me? Yeah, that was a bit fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Having a Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. two against one. Right go, go. Oh, no, no, this no. is every day. No, every no, fucking no, day. No, no, every no, fucking day. Listen, no, listen. I'm neutral. Listen, <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. You can't throw away your fucking pride for money. If she feels that she doesn't need to do it, she doesn't need to do it. If she felt like she needed to, then by all means, there's no judgment. Hey, but, obviously, obviously. Dog, but, but, she's wait, already wait, doing it. All your guys' motives since what? the beginning you guys have talked is the bag, the bag. Yeah, why, why, else, why else would you do OnlyFans? If I, why else would you? Only, let me ask you this. Yeah. Answer. Okay. You like money? Not more than I like. Let me ask you again. Happiness. I'll ask. I'll try again. Okay. Do, do you like money? I like money. Cool, man. All right. Do you think it'd be a smart business move to do something you're already doing to make some money? Not if it. I mean, I'll ask again. Do you think it'd be a smart business move to do something you're already doing to make some money? If it jeopardizes my pride, no. What, but you're, why are you doing it then pride. if it jeopardizes your pride? You're already doing because it. Because I'm not, guys, guys, you guys understand. When people hear OnlyFans, they think news. So it's that. So it's about what people think. That's, yeah, what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Are you not about? influencing? Are you not writing a fucking book to help people out? What do you think she's doing with her life? Hold on. Wait. What so, I'm saying is your actions dictate who you are as a human what, being. What if? So when people see that and she's, and there's millions of little girls looking up to her. Yep. And they're like, oh, she's doing it. She sold out. You know what? Why don't I? Because they're not going to dive into it. She knows that. There's so, responsibility so so to the actions saying, you take. So you're saying people's irresponsibility of diving in to see that she's using OnlyFans to inspire young girls. Talk about fitness. Yeah, because that's all I hear on OnlyFans. Hold on. People are inspiring on. people. So, so, you, so, you, so you think because of ir people's irresponsibility to actually look into the product and okay. they just make an assumption that she should avoid actually getting paid because of a stigma or the assumptions people have. Yeah, because then if you don't care about what like you are and your actual being, then what the fuck are we doing? I think we're already all kind of saying the same thing. If she wanted to do her own platform that it was her own thing, yes, but she already knows OnlyFans is nipples tits. That's immediately what people no, think about. No, she said no nipples. I know, but that's what people think, bro. And we could go down the street and I could point but, at anybody in this fucking room and they'll say the but, same exact but there, thing. But there are people that think the flat, the, the earth is flat too, George. It's not. Why it's can't wrong. you make your own platform? Why does it have to be only Because all of the money. See, that's my point. It, George, yes, back to the point we're talking about here. Yeah, I think we're all making Why the same point. I see his point. Yes, I see his point. It's like his point is like, I don't want to jeopardize my morals, whatever, based off what people think. And yes, I care what people think. We all, in a way, care what people think. I care what people think of me because I want to be respected. That's my thing. A lot of people don't want to respect boom. me because of, oh, Summer Rae. You can't say boom, a, George. Summer Rae is a booty girl, whatever. <laughs> people are already like, oh, Summer Rae already does that. Why aren't you doing it? So I see that point too, because yes, I do post my body. Yes, I already do that kind of boom. stuff. So it's like, there's so there's two different ways. And that's why I'm in war with myself. It's like, I will, I guess, who wouldn't like to make money off based off what I'm already doing? But I care what people think, sadly, and I would So like, we're all right? We're all right! <laughs> Fucking hit my hand! Hit <laughs> my fucking hand! Oh, oh. <laughs> Stick up for you, son of a bitch. No! Table? Oh, D-Rock. Now Danny's You made Danny mad. Guys, I really didn't I love that. the point he's making. I well, the good guy I in me is like, like, yeah. No, but the I- The businessman in me is like, that's now I am. Now I do feel actually stupid, and I need someone to spell this out for me. <laughs> so if so, you're already doing something somewhere. You're already doing. And you it. hold on. You simply is, re. Oh, if wait. I was gonna make that money and the stigma wasn't there, I'd be on that app. No, but what the? But the stigma. We'll, we'll take a brand deal from fast food. It's money. It's a lot of money, but it doesn't represent who you it are. Does, no, 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 it no, 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 no. But, 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 but I understand. She's already that. posting stuff but that but resonates but with yes, her. Yes, Dylan. But what I'm saying is not behind the paywall. No, Dylan. If he was, if he was, hold on. OnlyFans was a platform where girls who had nice bodies who worked hard for their bodies and we can go on there and jiggle a little bit and post fitness tech. I'd be on the platform, have, but that's not what people think the platform is. I hear guys all the time talking around me. Um, they're like, ew, OnlyFans. Oh, gross. OnlyFans. Oh, girls aren't OnlyFans. It's porn. It's it's like the new porn hub. So it's like, I sometimes don't want to associate myself with that just because yeah. of the fact of I, yes, I post my body, but no, I don't do porn. So it's like, that's like a porny kind of thing. You have 26 but, million fans on Instagram. You have millions of fans on all your channels. 
go show people that that's not what it is. Mm-hmm. What I that's but what that's I don't what understand. I was talking about with him the other day. It's like I I don't OnlyFans. It wasn't always created to be like that. People just got on the app and made that. There are artists that are on there and they literally are painting. And there are things that people can do. Like both my sisters are on there and they don't post that. My sister does like cosplay stuff. It's not even sexual. That's like what sexual I'm saying. Stuff. I don't understand but, the fucking. And if the stigma just tomorrow went away and I could go on there and post one, I would do it. It's just like Summer Ray and porn. It's like I'm on such a fine line in people's heads sometimes it's like oh because it's like i post my butt i do all that stuff so it's like i just don't want to like and it's like oh she's doing porn oh she sold out oh she, she's this you know it's like i want to be a respected businesswoman that does i work hard for my body i'm a fitness model like what i'm gonna work all night all day and night for my body and then cover it up and be like like i have to post my body because i have to show people that i work hard for my body it's not like i laid on a table got a fake ass and some fake tits and i'm like it's like i work hard for my body so it's like my hard work I come from like body like um like NPC com- like competitive like um bodybuilding type stuff so it's like my views on it is just different from other people's because it's like I grew up working in like working day and night to like make sure my body looks a certain way to get on stage my dad was my coach so it's like I just have like a very different way to look at it you know what I mean and like LA is, and people in general see a girl and like booty shorts it's like oh sex it's like no i'm working but I as work long hard but as long body. as you're as long as you're going with the fact that you want to continue to um curate and cultivate a personal brand that is around fitness and stuff like that and not from a morality standpoint because if your morals exist in a certain way on one platform they're the exact same way on another platform mm-hmm. no matter what no yeah, matter what like I'm stigma only fans in my head's gonna no, but be that's like, that's where i was that's where i was going <laughs> yeah, with no. the entire thing it, yeah, it's no. not if 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 you're one way on one thing it doesn't right anyways, I, and whatever. the thing is i need to wake up one day and not give a fuck what people think in that type of way but yeah. like i do care just because it's like i'm not gonna go out and make a fool of myself because i and I, I respect myself too in a sense where it's like I want people to not think oh my god she's such a dumbass because I do think that about a lot of people that I see always posted and posting things and going out it's like oh they don't they just don't care they have a I don't give a fuck mentality but it's like that's just not who I am. Like, I do give a fuck. I give a fuck about my life. I give a fuck about my morals. I give a fuck about my happiness. I give a fuck. Like, and I feel like we live in a world where it's like, it's so normalized to not give, or just don't give a fuck. It's like, I give a fuck about the right things, but yeah. What is certain- George doing? Dude, I'm so hyped on your intelligence. <laughs> Bro, you're so deep. I didn't think you were like this. I really did. I knew, I knew you, but like, fuck, you have your, you have a great mindset. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. But- she got a man, George. <laughs> I have a man too. <laughs> chill. chill, daddy, chill, chill. But speaking of that, man, I have a game. Okay. Well, yeah, game I don't know if you do have a man. I I don't know what's going on there, but I'm gonna pretend you don't. Okay. And I want to play this game with you because there are a lot of dudes watching this podcast who think you're you're the goat, and and the, you know some say you are. So this quiz, oh, that's really sweet, right here. I keep moving the chair. It sounds like I'm. Oh, I'm this like ki- this quiz right here is gonna build your ideal partner, and they're okay. gonna, they're gonna tell you when you're gonna get married. Really? We all want to know what you look for in a guy and also when you're going to get married and if it's going to be any of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> These two guys. Oh, yeah, guys sure. were, do you, I never talked married. about this on the first... You guys remember I was like one of the first guests, like yeah. third guest ever on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, we had a, and we I never you. mentioned it. You know how me and Logan met? He used to slide in the DMs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hold on. No, I don't think I did. Oh, easy, where's my easy, phone? Easy champ. Oh, where's where, my phone? Where's my phone? Do you know how many Does did? anyone know where I my phone my is? Phone. You did. Anyone, I was there when you slid into her DMs. What'd I say? You said like high you, on emoji You kept wanting to take me on a date. You said, when can I take you on a date? You shut your ass. And I kept not wanting to. And then we <laughs> met each other in person when I went to um, person, Houston. Super Bowl. Person in Super Bowl. That's when we met for pers- in person. Okay. Uh, I, I, also, I'm, I'm scrolling I'm, way back. I'm siding with her. Oh, I, oh, I oh, it. oh. And I got to go before he deletes it. He's like, unsend. Oh, no. I'm unsending all of them. <gasps> no! No! When, I when go did I go to the Super Bowl with When's Summer? our date? This oh is not a drill. Oh my God, this is fantastic content. <laughs> oh, I, I don't trust you anymore. You have one of those screens that the person next <laughs> oh, to you no. can't see? Oh, You're a cheater. Thanks. Oh, I did. No, it's just my oh. personal information. You're a cheater. I DM'd her before we met. Uh, oh. When's our date? This is not a drill. I said, LOL, you tell me. Oh! She said he got that Vine money. And then he said, tomorrow night, Castilla, 8 p.m. But Damien, I was like, I'll text you. And I don't think I, I think. Never texted me. Never texted me. <laughs> he remembers that, but doesn't remember the DM. He goes, no, she never did. Never texted text oh me. Oh my God. But the thing is, me and Logan are homies for life. Oh. Damn, you just witnessed a friend zone <laughs> alive. Epic proportions. Here on Impulse. Back to back. <laughs> back to back. Absolutely incredible. 
Oh my god. All right, well, let's hope you don't describe me in this quiz. Because if you do, ooh, ooh, I'm cashing in on that date to break up out the friend zone. But the thing is, people who date like it's like like you guys ruin a friendship. Like I've never been like dated a guy that like we end that cool where I want to be homies like and come on their podcast. Like no, I'm sorry. That's weird because yo, everything you've ever described as your perfect girl is. Well, let's see if I'm her perfect man. Summer, you free a genie from a lamp and he grants you one wish. What do you wish for? The perfect partner, a fulfilling career, a lot of money, to live in forever, power of light, to read minds. Wow, there's a lot of answers here. What the fuck? Um, Something not listed here. Whoa. Well, oh, okay. What is it? I really want to fly. It was the power of flight. Was that? Oh, I want mother that. I want fucking, that. Go mother fucking fucker. fucker. He, Logan described it as the power of light, so oh, I'll give oh. you a pass on it. So. <laughs> yeah. I know, I'm he just did, listening. I, in my I'm mind, like... I go, the power of light, what is that? Oh, you walk into a room, it's bright? <laughs> how, how do I yeah, start I over? Fly. You always get the best lighting for a picture? Huh? I gotta, I gotta go on a different browser. See what you've done, Summer? Well, well, you, you said it. light. If you said light. flight, I'd be like, what yeah, is I want to fly. Light? <laughs> the best <laughs> selfie lighting ever. You never not get good lighting ever. Right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> the power of flight. Oh, that oh, F, that the F power was hidden. Of flight. Okay, here we go. Second question. F was hidden. You go out on your dream date with your dream partner. What are you doing? Crap. Um. Uh, we should guess what she's going to say. Summer do be eating, dude. Um, <laughs> grabbing some dinner. <laughs> grabbing some dinner, okay. I Yeah, I love food. That's my problem. I, I, I was just going to say, she's gonna, somebody's going to try to turn that into fucking... Okay, check this out. It says everyone has deal breakers. What's yours? Uh, Mouth open, chewing in a relationship, oh, not I sexually compatible, compatible, bad hygiene, in a relationship? low confidence. That's probably it. What? Like I, you know, I'm not a home wrecker. That's home the deal. Wrecker. Are you sure? Because there's some good answers. I like a needy guy. They're too okay. They make less money than I do. Oh, dude, that's been never been an issue for me. Okay, <laughs> but is it an issue or is it a deal breaker? <laughs> no, all my boyfriends, I've always taken care of them. So, but it's not, obviously they're not a deal breaker. No, I mean, do they I call you I'm daddy? I make them. <laughs> <laughs> they have bad hygiene, sexual no, compatibility. They're already in the relationship. I want to make on. sure. I yes. want to make sure. Okay. All the other stuff is fine. Like what? I'm what, I'm not gonna go out the guy that because then they're gonna cheat on me. They cheat with you. They cheat on you. Facts. You win a date with your favorite celebrity. Who is it? Will Ferrell, um, Johnny Depp, Chris Pratt, Brad Pitt. Um, Iron Man. That's. Johnny God damn it. <laughs> that is no, not. No, 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 no. You do not want to pick him. Do not fucking I pick him. I thought that was, what's his name? No, no it's not Iron it's Man. Not. Uh, but also, please don't okay, pick him. Okay, guys. Will Ferrell would be yes. kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to hang out with Will Ferrell. Oh, then, it would be then so that's fun. perfect. You're at your best friend's wedding. Standing up next to her is maid of honor. How do you feel? Jealous? A little weepy? Uncertain? Happy? I'm not sure if the guy is up to what? A little uncertain. I'm not sure if the guy's up to snuff. What's that mean? He, he may like not be worthy snuff. of your girl. Oh, snuff. A little weepy. It took some. Uh, like you're proud of her? Happy? Um, you wish you were her? I mean, this definitely depends on the situation. Like 100%. On it's that. your girl. It's your best friend. Um, I don't know if I love weddings. I've really never been to a so lot. So you're not happy, huh? Jealous. Then. So I'm so happy, but I don't know if I love weddings. So, so happy I okay. love weddings. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you introduce your dream ba you introduce dream bay to your nieces and nephews. How do they act? Um, they gotta be great with kids. You don't want kids. Actively af don't seem actively afraid of the kids. I feel like uh, you like this question. Or maybe the first one. They have to be great with kids, giving piggyback rides, helping cleaning up clean that up. That is kinda cute. Okay. Okay. But it's not cute when guys are trying so hard to be cute with kids, though. It's like sometimes cute when they're just like <clears throat> just doing it because it's like they actually like kids. Some guys will be like, oh, yeah, that's it. It's like, you think I would like this, don't you? Yeah. Be honest. There's a salary you're looking for. How much money do you wish your partner would make? Uh, I really don't care. Six probably. figures or more. You don't care? Yeah. Okay. That's great. <laughs> what is the fastest way to win brownie points with you? Online relationships. Foot rubs. Helping around the house. Cuff, cuff, cuff. Spending times with me, talking. Spending time with me. I, I talk a lot. You don't say. I talk in here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want someone who is... <clears throat> I like them to be kind of quiet and me talk a lot. Experienced? Data therapist. Or are you looking for someone who's saving no, themselves? they don't want to do that on their time oh, off. Question, What'd you say? Um, Experienced? Saving themselves. I would love to date a virgin. Does that sound weird? 
No. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> like this. What's up? What's up? How you What's doing? Good? How you doing, Shorty? <laughs> <laughs> if a guy told me he was a virgin and wasn't lying, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know you they have no. Him? Wait, 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 wait. No, what about, like, I'm dating what about you. what about born again virgins? Mm, I don't know what I mean. <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did your last relationship end? In, um, infidelity. My ex cheated yeah, on me. Just answer four. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Last question. How would you rate this quiz, <laughs> motherfucker? <laughs> the whole thing. It doesn't even give you an answer. Okay. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We got a square. Blue square. Surely this is going to be. Where's your guys? Ad. Is this the first time doing this? Is he going to show a guy? It's saying you should date a it wizard. It says a picture of no, a guy. Thanks. Just show my results. That would be funny. It's like all okay, like, here we go. Losers, Logan pops up. Oh. No, Jake pops up. Wow. Based on your dream partner, you're about ready to tie the knot with the next person who walks down the street. <laughs> <laughs> you've got marriage fever and you've got it bad. We understand. Nothing makes the heart go pitter patter like wedding bells. I just Oh, yeah. It's because I said I love weddings. Just remember not to sell yourself short. You deserve a person who will treat you right. Not just any schmo is willing to put the ring on your finger. It's great to be excited for marriage, but there's something to be said for holding out for the best. Mm. I mean, but honestly, that? I don't really want to get married like anytime that's, soon. Uh, that's, like, fuck this quiz. That quiz villain. sucked. Ass. <laughs> 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 Who found that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he always has like a lineup. No, it's about no, the journey. It's it the journey. It's great. It's great. Be my rabbit. Yo, what's it called? Smoke bombs. Smoke bombs. George just texted me while on the show. Cool. You're a mean person. Me? No, that's what he said to me. Oh, no, he, but it was a joke. Honestly, when I was peeing, I was like, I hope people like know that we just bitter batter. No, it's not bitter but batter. But he was it's, so red, I think he's real. <laughs> Serious. No, no, no hold on a second. I am they just tell me before the show, hey, <laughs> don't make it seem too much because the comments. Are you hate real? Each other. Tell me if I am not. real. I mean, he, tell me no, if we not. have we have here's the I thing. Some here's the thing. Some here's the thing, Summer. And I I, I know like uh Summer. I think older people are like more mature people probably understand this. You can have best friends, best friends. Get into actual physical altercations and beat the fuck out of each other and then be best friends five seconds later. I think later. that plays a role to guys. Like, that's like kind of my whole life. I've had guy friends my whole life. They fucking just beat the shit out of each other. And I think, oh, that friendship's gone no. forever. And then they're hanging out. That's Girls, if a girl beats my ass, I'm probably not talking to her ever again. Like, there's no, some, that's like, what you do. code of like, I've never been in a fight, but maybe I would like to. No, it's just, it's just, you can. All I would never get a fight but if someone tried to fight me I would throw down but like I'm not a ratchet like girl who's just gonna be like oh really like, like I don't really like the conflict but if if they want to test me I will I will stand up for myself that's for sure you took the hot chip challenge like a fucking monster that didn't, was even, weird. didn't even that affect was you Logan almost weird. died that I was did, the closest I, I've gotten to dying. Dude, I know. I try to tell people. I try to tell Bradley that because he made me do it, and I thought he was actually taking the chip challenge with me. He he switched it for one of those blue one, like those blue chips <gasps> that look like it, and he's just like looking at me, and I'm like. I thought he was took it too. I was like, oh, we're both really cool. Like we both didn't like mm-hmm. freak out at all. And he's like, no, I gave you the chip. I didn't take one. So that I made him take one, he almost died. Yeah. Not, as, not as bad as you. Like that was- No, I thought I was going to die. I, I think I you made had my like an allergic reaction I, honestly, to it. on my insides. You were on the floor and they were throwing up for like, I thought I literally was like, uh, it was real life. Dog, dog. Sometimes I think with him, it's like, oh, it's for the video. And I was like- I oh, made I them stop like, filming because I, I thought I was going to die on camera. I, I literally think I wrote like a goodbye letter. I was like, this but is it. The weird thing is that you were kind of okay. And then all of a sudden, like probably like 10, thir- maybe 15 minutes later, like you disappear and you're on the ground. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll never do He's that He's like in a like again. fetal position. I didn't know. I don't know what happened. It felt like my insides were sweating. Like every single one of my organs inside of my body. I feel like you had to have an allergic reaction or something. Something. It was hot. But, but I've like, done it before. But I've done it before. So what went wrong? And how did you handle it? So she drank like, her chip with milk you're chilling. right down. You're chilling. She didn't eat. She didn't even Still give it a in second. My mouth. And you do it like that too. No, I didn't. No, I'm saying do it like that. If you're, why oh, think oh, smarter, not harder? Oh, oh. Like, Wasn't that the what? first time Amara like, said she loves you? That, why not? Yeah, think, think <laughs> smarter, not harder. <laughs> says the person who's not repurposing their already existing content on OnlyFans for millions of dollars. It, what do you it, say, George? It is tough. What do you say, George? But, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> guys, oh, I'm shit. thinking about it. Oh my gosh, my skin was so bad. Back back. Back. <laughs> you just ruined the last good girl in LA. Look, <laughs> I have a big dick. <gasps> what? Oh, the last good girl? What was that? What was that stuff? To, to act tough for YouTube. When to be funner to act a fool? No, because your brand is like tough girl. <laughs> I have a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. This, I mean, rest in peace, right? But this was, I remember this moment, this coming up moment real quick. Nice. <laughs> you look so normal. 
Why you gotta do this, bro? Wait, I hate you. The music That's playing. okay. Why you gotta do this? It's okay if you hate me because I love you. That's crossing. Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would you do that? Aww. Why would you do that? She said, she said, I hate you, you. And then you said, I love you. And she went, Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I thought it was cute, man. But come on. Hey, bro. I thought just it was know cute, I would have never done that. I would have never crossed that line. That was fucked I'm up. actually lying. We're going to forget like that ever happened. No, but I won't. You don't have to throw that it in his a- face like that. Throw it in his face. Yeah, I did. Huh? <laughs> come on, man. But since we're best friends, I'll allow it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not a pussy. Cause Summer. I'm not a pussy. Summer. I ain't a pussy either. Summer. Uh, anytime I like, I'm in like all the face videos. I love her, videos. dude. She <laughs> could just go here to here <laughs> instantaneously. Bro. You know what reminds me of it was six nine. We were like, let me ask you something. No, no, hold up. Let me ask you something. You would just go off. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's I'm great. I'm horrible. That's why I can't be on. But I live. You can't be an I'm umpire. Girl. <laughs> Is that no, what I can't you're be about on podcast say? because it's like, bitch, like. And then I'll watch. I'll like. Think back in the car home, like, oh, did we? Have, like, I had, I, I brought something up and I wanted to like cover it, but then I'm like, no, I, I only said one little thing about it. I went to a whole nother subject. Well, what did you want to cover? I don't know. Nothing. I don't know, but I'm, what was I going to say? <laughs> Damn it. You oh. need to be a cartoon. You are. She is a cartoon. <laughs> you need to bro. be a cartoon, dude. <laughs> are those eyebrows real? Uh, yeah. Yo, when we, when yeah. you leave the podcast, say if somebody asks you in the car, like back, n- name one thing that you talked about on the show, would you be able to tell them? Well, one thing that I'm go- that's gonna haunt me tonight is the whole Colson thing. Cause I'm gonna think like, should I? And then I'm gonna text Logan you a few times. I'm gonna yeah. be like, you know, like, can you take that all out? Uh, just kidding. I can say no. Just kidding. Can you please take that? Off? And since it's gonna, you're gonna DM him, and he's just not gonna respond because you didn't respond to him when he fucking tried to date you. Hey, <laughs> we're past that. We're way past that. Yeah. What have you said? <laughs> Thanks for listening to that's this episode so of Impulsive. <laughs> Summer, How thanks. long do your podcasts go? Like, is this all? <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to stop? I mean, is there like a time that it can't? Not if you want. I just feel like people are going to watch this back and be like, Summer's so like. Awesome. So no, on. she like says one Amazing. thing and then something else. Like, I don't like to talk about sexual stuff, but every other video, I'm like, I have a big dick. <laughs> Well, do, do you have a? It's different though. It's not. I don't like to get real about it, but I do have like a, a big, big dick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I have a dirty sense of humor, but like not if it gets real. Like if people actually want to get real with the dirtiness, I'm like, okay, no, 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 no. But if we're joking around, like fine. You got ADHD? Hey, do you yeah. ever use commas? <laughs> she goes, yeah. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> yeah. Breathe when you talk. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't breathe in. I don't use commas ever. You ever have sh- giant veins shoot out of your neck when you're yelling at your friends? Yeah. <laughs> George, hop in the ring. George, hop in the ring after this. Yeah, I saw beat your fucking ass. Whoa, Guys, like, I actually would kind of like to. I think me and you should go. I think that's. I think that's a fair okay, fight. Stop hitting on me. I have a she, not this he has got a girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so are you ready, Summer? Okay, what? We're done. Oh. <laughs> you let me know if you're at, you're cool with that. <laughs> oh, you guys are waiting on me to wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, do you want to? Do you want to? You want to? You want to go? Uh, has it been like a long time? Oh, it has what, are the, what are the odds one out of ten we go for another 15 minutes? Listen, you guys can follow her on Instagram at Summer Ray, but there's a good chance you already do. Uh, she will be making an OnlyFans. <laughs> when she does, go sign up for it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have to subscribe. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.